What's going on everybody, it's Buddy here. Today I'm going to show you guys how to remove a strip lug nut. So let's get right into it. Now as you guys can see here, this one does look a little more beat up than the rest of them. So I'm going to show you guys, this is a 17 millimeter. I'm going to show you guys exactly how stripped up this one is. You can twist it without even putting really much torque on it at all. So this one's definitely stripped out. There's no way this is coming out. But I'm going to show you guys the trick. This is the Amartison Bolt and Nut Remover. This thing works super well. I'm going to put a link for this in the description so you can grab it on Amazon. Now it has 13 different sizes. You can see right here, it says 3 quarters and 19 millimeters, 11 sixteenths. We have our 17 millimeter here. It's kind of hard to see. There you go. We're going to be using this one for our 17 millimeter lug nuts. So we're going to take this out. So how these work, they have a reverse spiral flute on them that they grip down to the bolt or nut and then they crank it off. So I'm going to show you guys how to put this on. We're going to just place it right here on our strip nut. We're going to make sure we get it nice and square. So it's got a nice flat surface here. So what we're going to do is we're going to tap in with our hammer. Then we're going to take our 3 8 drive on a breaker bar. We're going to slide it in. And then we're going to break it loose. Well, with just my luck, we broke off our 3 8 tip inside of the 17 millimeter socket, so we're going to try something else. So we're going to straighten this out with the hammer. We're going to spray a little bit of WD-40 in there. And then we're going to take this 24 millimeter socket and we're going to place it right over this socket. Now, quick side note, guys, this lug was way over tightened and you probably won't have to go this extent to remove your lug nut. I've only had to do this method one other time in my life and I actually work on cars for a living. So anyways, let's get right back to the video. And then we're gonna take our breaker bar, we're gonna throw it back on and crank it off. Beautiful. So we finally got that out. That was definitely a stubborn lug bolt. Now I said lug bolt because this BMW does use lug bolts, but this will work exactly the same on lug nuts. Now let me take this out and show you guys exactly what this thing looked like. And as you can see, our 17 millimeter nut remover socket really did a number here on this bolt. You can see that it really dug it enough to get enough torque to take this out. And our 17 millimeter socket has almost no visible damage. So this Amartison nut and bolt remover set definitely has my recommendation. It's fairly reasonably priced. It's actually one of the cheaper ones out there. It's only 25 bucks, but it works better than 90% of the other ones I've used. So I will leave a link for it down in the description below that you can grab a set for your strip lug nuts. But wait, if you are new to the channel, you haven't seen my latest car flipping video, I definitely recommend you check that out. It's one of the best videos out there for learning how to make money flipping cars. And here's a quick sample of it. What is going on today, everybody? It's Buddy here. Today, I'm gonna show you guys how I took this super ugly, neglected, beat up looking BMW and turned it into thousands of dollars of profit. So I'm mainly a DIY channel, but I have started a segment on how to flip cars. It's what I do for a living full time. So if you wanna learn how to get potentially profitable vehicles at low prices, how to fix them up and flip them, make a whole lot of money on the back end, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. I'm gonna show you guys the entire process of how I made a few thousand dollars off this BMW from how much I knew I should buy it for, how much I knew I could sell it for, how much money I had to put into it, and ultimately how much profit I made off this. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video.